Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Update. Today, the breaking news of FTX Exchange acquiring a cryptocurrency exchange in the US that has a CFTC license. What the hell does all of that mean? We'll get into that in today's video, but it is very big news for FTX Exchange and their native token, FTT, something that we have been looking at for several weeks as one of the strong horses, along with the likes of Cardano and Solana. We could see something happening in the charts and now we have some of the big news come out. Looks like another great example of the old saying, show us the chart and I'll tell you the news. It's one of the strong horses that we have been accumulating over the last couple of months on the channel. I know you guys have been following it as well. I've been reading your comments, so thank you very much for that. And of course, your support with the likes and the subscribes, hitting that bell notification icon, getting here nice and early and dropping your comments down below, especially for the premieres if you're around for those, watching these live with you guys. So thanks once again. Let's dive straight into today's video. So what we have is FTX climbing the market caps. We were down at around 35, sitting at around that 3 billion when we first were um, getting into this during the bottoms of the market. And now I don't say that to gloat, but it was one of the uh, projects that I liked because of how it sat against its Bitcoin value. You know, we look at the 50% and we'll look at that on the chart uh, straight after this big piece of news. But what I want to look at here, uh, more importantly, is the market cap because the news article will reference other cryptocurrency projects. And if we're looking at FTX at around $6 billion, currently at a $64 pricing, maybe $65, maybe $70 by the time you're watching this, there's still a fair bit of room for this FTT token to grow. $6 billion. If we look at Binance sitting at around $82 billion, and this is continuing to grow as well. So we're more than 10x away from Binance. And now we have a license to be able to trade crypto derivatives in the US. So here is the official tweet from Sam Bankman-Fried back at around 10.30 p.m. my time in uh, on the 31st of August. Now, of course, this is around 10.30 a.m. on the 2nd of September. So it's a day and a half, around your 36 hours. But I don't think the market really understood what this was about. And we only just saw the boom from around that $50 mark to now sitting around the $64 mark. So what is this news? What is this all about? Bitcoin Exchange, founded by billionaire Sam Bankman-Fried, acquires CFTC license. So FTX US, the American affiliate of billionaire FTX International, is betting that it can leverage a similar playbook to, it par to its parent company and successfully compete in the ever-crowded US market. So specifically, is going to start offering crypto derivatives to clients. Announced today, the one-year-old exchange has agreed to acquire the parent company of LedgerX LLC, a commodity and futures trading association, CFTC regulated crypto derivatives exchange for an underclose sum. So the CEO of FTX US says they want to do something that is uniquely their own. It is fortunate that FTX US has this playbook to draw on, you know, they've got the experience, as it is still looking to make a major impact in an ever competitive crowded American crypto spot market. Harrison said that in January 2021, it averaged only 1 million worth of spot, uh, spot trading volume per day. Yet over the last 24 hours, that number has risen to over 350 million according to CoinGecko. So this is where it comes in uh, to understanding how big the market can actually get. So this is still a small fraction of the daily volume seen by Coinbase, 4.6 billion, so over 10 times bigger. Kraken, 1.2 billion, so what, about three three to four times, and then Binance US, about three times bigger. And so now they have a derivatives exchange as well, plus they continue to grow their spot trading and they've acquired what used to be called Blockfolio. So that's for the everyday retail trader to be able to trade cryptocurrency on the go using an app. So they're really branching out here. And you've heard me talk about FTX a lot on the channel uh, when it comes to how they're promoting and their marketing and different areas that they are planting their name, such as NBA, the FTX Arena, Major League Baseball, UFC. There's just time and time again, more and more advertising for FTX as well as building out the infrastructure. These numbers do not also take into account the rapid growth in crypto trading volume seen by PayPal, Square, Robinhood in recent months. So they're just banking on the fact that this is going to continue to grow and they can see where 
the uh, where the traders are, the retail traders, for example, PayPal Square and Robinhood. So they're looking to take some of that share. I personally think FTX is going to do very well to get into that space, which is obviously why it's something that I'm investing in and I talk about often as one of the strong horses. Of course, at the end of the day, it's always do your own research. You've got to be committed and really feel that one of these cryptos that you really believe in that you're investing in putting your hard earned money in has the potential to go the the full distance and if it doesn't then make sure you're watching a chart and have it in your plan to be able to sell out at any point now i know i throw a lot of hopium in terms of uh looking at the pricing and just how much uh, how bullish i am on ftx but at the same time again we need to be cautious and markets can and do retreat from where they are speaking of retreats Bob Lucas's post here, lots of bullish looking charts in crypto, but BTC is on day 42 of its 60-day cycle, upcoming September 60-day cycle low to give us a huge read on four-year cycle. So know your timeframes. Basically, what he's saying here is the market it could trend down into September or we're just looking for where the low comes in in September. If the low is at 46K or 45K, Maybe that's all it is, but it's important to understand, especially after a market's pumped, that we could get dumped on. And that doesn't mean that the show is over. It just means that maybe the market needs a little bit of rest and recovery before it's ready to go again. Some of the comments, CT, Crypto Twitter, will read this, scratch their head and continue on. Bob says, not my job to serve it on a platter. So really learn about cycles and understand where the market may be heading or at least take some signals from where these lows are forming. Just as an interesting point on the Bitcoin low, looking at around 36 to 40K, Bob's saying that's his expectation area. If it doesn't get there, they're going to have their plans. But that's an interesting read, I thought, especially from Bob Lucas, the guy who has come up with or what we now know as the four-year Bitcoin cycle. Uh, he's really done a lot of work into that. So I'm keeping an eye out for September. You know, I've got that on the channel as well. You guys have been following. September doesn't always pan out too well for Bitcoin. Maybe this time's different. <laughs> we'll see. Along with Bob, there's also Plan B. Plan B is the infamous S2F model. So stock to flow model of Bitcoin. So far, pretty good for August, around that 47K close. Looking at September, it's just having a small pullback around 43. So We've got numbers from 40, or 36 to 44-ish area, something that, again, we've been looking at on the channel. So you guys have been following and keeping up to date with this. You know that, that we are potentially looking for a correction, but just like these guys, if it doesn't happen, we will be watching to see if there are some signals to show us that maybe we're not going to get that drop that we all want to be able to buy up because now everyone's looking. Now onto my favorite part, which is the chart. Now I've got FT. T BTC. So it's FTX token against Bitcoin. This is the one that got me super bullish. We had the, the crash into May, got a lower low, but then we ended up getting all of these higher lows coming uh, into the market as we began uh, the ascent out of the depths of that June low. But the importance here is that this token was gaining value against Bitcoin while other cryptos weren't gaining gaining anything against Bitcoin. They were kind of trending down or trending sideways, whereas there was a lot of strength coming into this market, especially against Bitcoin. And of course, it was also gaining against its USD value. And so now we can see this area was reaccumulation because we've just taken off. Back to FTT BTC for a second. We've seen a big pump bar here. What happens after pump bars? We often get a bit of sideways consolidation. It doesn't necessarily mean that we go lower, but it tends to have some consolidation. Now, the difference at the moment, we've got one more back here. We've got another big pump bar. What happens after that? Sideways and down, okay? But this was back in 2020 March. The market conditions are quite different now and this pump came at the end. So, we had a tiny accumulation and then a, a pump into... Uh, into those highs there. Again, different sort of timing. This was basically on the, at the end of, well, right in the middle of COVID, 12th and 13th of March, right in the middle of COVID. But now we see this first pump come after an accumulation zone. And so what I may think happens here is that hopefully, may, 
you know, we're never sure, nothing is guaranteed, is that we get consolidation above these levels or we put in another big day up so that we can get we can have one, two, three big days up. So we've got a green back here on some volume. We've got another big green day on big volume. Ideally, we want to get three big days up from this point. FTT USD, on the other hand, back on a daily chart, uh, these ranges you can see after a big pump went sideways for about four weeks and then we took off again but it didn't really drop any further down beneath those lows of the bar so there wasn't really an opportunity to get a cheaper entry price even though this pump bar looked absolutely crazy at the time and the main thing I note here after this pump bar is uh, just the patience required so there was about four weeks at the market it was just trending up but nothing crazy like you saw on this major day here. Same thing happened in uh, February 2021. And this is probably more similar to the conditions that I think we may be seeing now for, for uh, FTT because we're kind of in the early stages of a bull market. This is late stages of the first section of the bull market. So it's a better comparison than, compar uh, than March of 2020 when everything was collapsing. And so we had a big pump day here, huge volume. This is what you'd be looking at on the chart. You don't know what's coming on the right-hand side. And then you get about two to three weeks of sideways and, and slightly down. So you did have an opportunity to get slightly cheaper prices, but possibly nothing that people would be really excited about. You know, people really want these things to dump hard before they get back in. You know, they, they want to get greedy and get 10 bucks or, uh, you know, $14. But it came down about 25 to 30 percent for a day or two and then back into this zone of 30 bucks. And then we started our way again to that new high. So the difference with this is that we saw accumulation zone and now we've broken out of the accumulation zone, which makes me think we might get something similar to ADA. So ADA had this big accumulation zone. So it's been quite strong, pumped out of it. And now it looks like we're getting an accumulation zone at the new high. So we're uh, finding our new support levels at prices above the old all-time highs. Ideally, that would be a great case scenario for uh, for FTT because now we're at new all-time highs. We've gone through a, an accumulation and ideally we want to get a nice base above these levels here. If we don't and we start to churn back into these levels, potentially it's going to be a little bit longer than we would like. We just got to hold on there. But you just don't want it to see it come back into this zone because this zone's already happened. This is the accumulation zone. And ideally, we want to start to break higher and higher and higher, especially if we're going for those bigger uh, market caps. We're currently at $6 billion, And as we've just seen, they're, they're comparing this stuff to Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, Binance. Uh, and these all have much, much bigger market caps than a $6 billion market cap. So although this video is mostly about FTT, I did just want to mention Cardano just because of how strong it's looking at the moment, provided it holds this level that you can see where I've got my purple box and uh, we just continue to consolidate and see what happens after the smart contracts are launched. That would be probably the deciding factor at the moment for a lot of people. What's going to happen after smart contracts? Pump or a dump? That's what we wait to see. In the meantime, if you aren't already, make sure you're uh, staking your ADA with a staking pool, whether it's mine, you can find a link to that down below, the Investor Accelerator staking pool, or anyone else's that you can find. There are absolutely hundreds, I think there are thousands of them now. Uh, but if you want to support the channel, check out the link down below to stake your ADA with the Investor Accelerator staking pool. We've been doing very, very well lately and uh, get yourself some passive income on your ADA. That's the big news for FTT today, the breaking news on FTX Exchange buying, acquiring the FCTC license. Now, if you are not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, so you can see the videos as they come up. This one is where I started to talk about it on the channel back on July 24th as a specific video, and it just didn't get that many views. People weren't that interested in something like this. And if we look at the days, this was back here at around $28, $29. And then also in the Patreon group, I've uh, uh, I've been talking about it since July as well, early days in July. So if you're not a member of the Patreon group, make sure you check it out. Links are down below. The special is still on, 33% off, 39 US per month for the Patreon group. Plenty of reports. 
uh, crypto updates and my own you know exclusive posts and thoughts there as well just make sure you have the subscriptions turned on and the bell notification so you can see these videos come up because if they don't get hit by the youtube algorithm then they're not going to show up in your feed and at the time this video no one was really that interested in ftt and i guess more people are interested in it as it breaks to new all-time highs so i'll thank you once again guys i know some people haven't been able to uh, find my channel until now that's okay we'll get more along the way as well we've got plenty more with the bull market coming up uh, i'll see you guys at the next video or on instagram or twitter we've got lots of crypto updates over there catch you next time until then have more fun to get more done